now when you start making money, how do you monetize? Like, how do you manage your money? Give us your money, your best money advice story. That's a good. I'm the worst guy with money. I'm horrible with business. Uh, I got a money guy. Yeah. Which is weird because you have to pay for a money guy, yeah, but they true. help you keep your money. It's all very confusing. Yeah. yeah. So I got a money guy, and that, that changed everything. And then all I heard was buy property, buy property. So I saved up a ton of money, like 800 k Sick. And man. I just put it right into a, a tiny apartment and bought it. And it was scary, and the paperwork, and the mortgage, and blah, blah, blah. But like, if you just zone out all that extra scary adult stuff, mm-hmm. I think you can do it. So now I have this place, and I'm trying to sell it to buy a bigger place, and uh, that's my plan now. But I'm not good with money. I have a savings account. I make like half a cent every year in interest, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm doing crypto. I've I've lost a ton of money on that. I lost a ton of money on Robinhood. So I'm trying, but I'm I'm an idiot. Well, I heard I heard, once heard you say, um, you know, you bought an apartment in New York City. Is it, it's an apartment in New York City? Yeah. Is that what you bought? And uh, I'll quote you on this. You said that. Uh, that's the only thing your parents are proud of that you've ever done. Not yeah. on the comedy, not a Tonight Show. Not, yeah. Why are they so proud that you bought an apartment? I think because it's, it's substantial. It's like, oh, we can wrap our head around that. You know, if I go, I got to the comedy cellar, they're like, who? The cellar? <laughs> well, that's not, that doesn't sound great. You're like, yeah. no, no, it's good. And so the apartment is like, oh, you're an adult. You're, you've grown up a little you're bit. You're adulting. Yeah. Um, what, have you started to make actual money doing comedy, by the way? A bit. Okay. You know, 75 bucks. Hey, hey. that's a solid. <laughs> there you go. Um, and I won't say who, but somebody has asked me to ghostwrite for them. Whoa, oh. that's good money in that. Yeah, so that's, that's ghost leveling up. Hell yeah. Uh, so what makes you so bad with money, dude? Uh, I just never thought about it. I never had it growing up. And so, I don't know. It was just like if I got money, I would just buy beer or buy food or buy whatever. So I never really learned how to save and all that shit. No one taught me about money. It's weird. We teach all this shit in school about, like, Pythagorean theorem. Ugh. Teach me how to do my fucking taxes. I know. Yeah. What are we doing here? I say that all the time. I go, we all go to school. We take the most useless class. It's algebra, biology, chemistry. I took fucking wood shop. <laughs> Buddy, if you don't know anything about me, I ain't cutting no wood. That's not happening. Well, we get it. You're but Jewish. They don't... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> but they don't teach you nothing about money. No. It's kind of ridiculous. Or health. It's... Or health. Not even just sex. Just health right. in general. Yeah, you know, but before the pyramid, it was like eat bread, and the, then you learn bread's <laughs> bad for you. Cheese. Yeah. yeah, bread makes you fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Michael, Sarah. So, um, so you never learned anything about money. No. What is your? What would you say is your best money habit and your worst money habit that you have? I watched Oprah when I was like twelve. <laughs> I was just on. I was you know eating breakfast, and it was like this guy came on this financial advisor, and he was like. Let me let me see what you do in a day. You go to Starbucks, now you buy a five dollar latte, then you take an Uber, then you go here, then you do this, and it was like all this shit adds up. And I remember hearing that like, yeah. And he's like, go buy the oatmeal, buy a bag of coffee, buy a coffee maker, and all that kind. Of, and it kind of blew my mind. Like, yeah, these little purchases yeah. really add up, and you don't need to buy all that shit, and don't go out to eat every night, and don't do delivery every night, blah blah blah. So that really stuck with me. Those little things add up. And people just go, ah, it's five bucks, it's eight bucks. That shit, it will kill you. I call it um, death by a thousand bites. There you go. There it is, you know. And uh, our buddy Marcelo, we brought his name up a few times. The guy, I'm like, he's like, I'm like, how much money do you spend on Uber Eats? Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know, like $15. I go, that's every day. All right, so 15 times 7, and now we're at 150 bucks or whatever. It's like, just go fucking go grocery shop for 100 bucks. You're done for the week. Because right. never thought of that. Never thought of that, bro. Yeah. So, and yeah, then on the flip side, yeah. you don't want to be the guy saving a bunch but not making any money. So, like, if you want that Uber Eats, you got to make enough to where that doesn't affect you. Mm-hmm. Instead of just saving up, I'm going to save up and buy Uber Eats. I've been saving. But, no, keep making more money instead of saving. Does that well make played. sense? Yeah. 